Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have the Grocery Gang, Your Shopping's Gone Rotten, Muck Chuck Garbage Truck. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy David Blucher for sending this vehicle and it figures my direction. Um, it, it's, it's awesome. It is a very, very cool vehicle and I don't own any vehicles for my Grocery Gang figures. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see what this vehicles all about besides it showing some images on the actual packaging that's sort of sending me back to the whole party wagon from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the package is just full of awesome artwork we got the apple core right here and the little crushed up garbage cube we actually get those figures right up here you got a bunch of like cityscape in the background and it just displays what you're going to get right out the get-go. They're not hiding anything from you, which is great. It's just sad that this, you know, toy line just doesn't exist anymore. On the right side of the box, we got some more of the little mini grocery gang figures shown right here. These, the, the artwork is just awesome. Whoever's doing the artwork, I, I would love, I, I wish I had one of his original pieces because I just love this style of art. It's gross, cartoony, and just sends me back to when I was a kid. All that nostalgia just in these images alone. That's It's awesome artwork. We got the left side of the box. We got ourselves, uh, looks like some melting poo or ice cream. We got a blowfish, a taco, and again with that amazing artwork. On the back of the package, you really get the vehicle in action with a bunch of little squishy grocery gang figures, not the powered up versions that I usually collect. But this will most likely work with those as well. We're going to try that out. But I love that they're just showing the actual vehicle and it's being played with. It's it's awesome. And then you get some read-up information if you want to read there. Um, we do get the names of Trash Block and Crapple Core. So those are the two that come with this vehicle. And uh, we do get a Ross sticker. Ross is awesome. You can find some amazing uh, figures at Ross for dirt cheap. Um, it's covering up the trash launch catapult saw. Uh, we got sauce bottle attack, quick flip, escape and lift and smash dumpster. So you get a lot of action big features. Well, I was going to say action figures, action features with this vehicle. It's just not a vehicle that sits on a shelf. You can actually have fun with it, with your figures. This garbage truck vehicle is awesome. It has tons of sculpted in detail. A lot of stuff that just needs to have some, you know, tender loving care of painting all the gloops and glops of these figures. And that's something that was sort of missing on some of the figures. There's tons of sculpted detail. They just didn't go all the way with painting all those sculpted details, which could leave it to us. You know, it's a great looking vehicle and it comes with two figures. One of the figures we get is Crapple Core and this thing is definitely a crappy core. You got the Grocery Gang logo on his back. Got some maggots on there. It's just a rotten apple core. And he has like a little smirk going on. Googly eyes. It is pretty awesome. You got the big old hole in the bottom. These things are like squishy. These are almost like, remind me of the racers you would get that you'd put on top of your pencil. And this guy looks pretty cool. Here we get Trash Block. And this just looks like somebody that woke up from a night of regrets. Look at that face. That is crazy. We got some... Uh, Looks like a carrot, some leafage, looks like sausage for lips, we got some cheese. It just it's gross. And we get tons of sculpted in detail, just not painted. You know, this looks awesome. With that grocery gang stamp on the back, a tramp stamp, but tons of sculpted in detail. And it's a trash block. I mean, you get all the details that you would expect out of this. And it is squishy as well. So still has that whole hole in the bottom the whole hole but it's cool we get a little compacted trash block that goes with the garbage truck so this grocery gang garbage truck has tons of detail that i just really can't even show you guys it's sculpted in detail you got a bunch of the slime that's coming down like the goop you got yourself uh, a lizard here looks like some sausage a roach um you got fish bones stuff just all over this thing on the top, you got some garbage cans, garbage bags, ants, 
and the ants are all over the top of this thing. They go, you can see the ants sort of here, here, and then they're all the way to the front. It's just covered with stuff. Even inside this little container there, you got the pizza and stuff like that. So all this cool detail, just not painted. The front looks great. You got the interior, got a cracked screen, got some bug splatter, the garbage can. It's awesome. That looks like some sort of, looks like a rat probably right there. Can't really tell. And then this, these flip up. I don't know if there's anything actually inside. No, there's no, uh, no, no designs inside, but there's enough all over the top sides of the vehicle. Like <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. I definitely, this thing is sweet. It is awesome. Oh, whoa. Okay. All right. All right. You guys already saw some sort of feature there. We also got this cool, like, back. Almost looks like it's made out of some sort of, like, woven, like, wicker <laughs> gate or something like that. Um, but you got some stuff on there. Fish bones. The clear, like, broken piece. But it, it's weird. It's, like, it's supposed to be busted out. But it's also clear. I don't know. It's crazy. So you can open that up. That's a cool feature. Besides the back gate folding down, we do get this little bouncy spot up here. But what you do is you can actually pull this thing up and it extends. So then you can use it as a catapult. And what's great about it is when you're done, it just snaps back in. But that's not all with action features. We got this. Press this. It's supposed to fold open, but we got ourselves a little bit of a seat. The other side's supposed to pop open too. This little battle station is awesome. It's got like this mustard ketchup container. These actually slides back. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. It's not like it shoots anything out. You can just pull that back for some reason. It doesn't angle up or down. I got the seat. Got a bunch of pegs. And that's so you can take your little grocery game guys. Put the peg in their little hole in the bottom. So you can have them actually on the actual vehicle itself. And you got five more of those pegs on the other side on there. All done with that wicker style flooring. And then you got a couple more pegs. So you could do four here, one on the gun, and five on the other side of these little squishy grocery gang figures. As I was messing with this vehicle a little bit more, but we got more sculpted in details. That's like a dead bird. Some other stuff on the bottom of this, you know, this thing rotates all right on its little hands. But what's crazy, if you can look, I have to do it this way, underneath is a big old splash, splat, so like it crushed something or it's leaking. That's pretty gross. Now I did lift up the garbage can to where it's up here. You can't see, it's out of frame, but the license plate says filthy. You got a broken, you know, blinker or headlight, all this detail. Then this part flips down, so you can actually flip this whole piece open you get a sculpted in seat with some gloop and slop all over the place. Get some joysticks, which I guess they would be used to, you know, control. I don't know if you can, you can put a couple of these guys right here. You can just put one right in the seat, but that isn't what I was really thinking that I'd want to put in this vehicle. I was more thinking that we can put one of these guys in there, but let's check it out. This garbage truck is just way too cool. I have a bunch of the little grocery gang guys popped up over here. I got one of the powered ones right there. We got Trash Head, the original trash guy, right there coming out of the garbage can. Let's get him out of there really quick so you can see. We got one of the Bug Strike Fry guys in there. And he fits in there perfectly. There's no issues with his size. It sort of it fits like a glove. Like his hands fit over the joysticks. It is awesome. And just sort of show you guys too. Let me get the garbage can out of the way. So we can really take a look here. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. And it looks great. So we not only have all that loaded up. I even have another the Luchador trash head. Right there on the side gun. We got a couple more of these little guys. We got the spray can. Like tons of figures can fit on this. It is fun. I was really getting skeptical. I'm like, will these guys work with this vehicle? And sure enough, 
like the actual spots for the, like the handle it handles and everything sort of are designed to fit with these guys and their design for my first ever grocery gang vehicle this thing is awesome and i have to give another huge shout out to david blucher his youtube channel is down below definitely check him out show some love he has a lot of good content and he has good taste i mean he's into grocery gang just like myself and thank you david thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that you sent this to me knowing i'm a huge grocery gang fan and you know what this thing's gonna go on the shelf with all my figures and it'll be there it's gonna be part of my collection until i have to be buried with my collection so yes it is awesome awesome and it's fun it's it just really sends me back to being a kid and having a vehicle that just has a lot of fun multi-purposes out of it it's awesome if you guys can find it at a ross or even online for for a good price i mean it's worth picking up especially if you have any of the other figures so definitely definitely pick it up if you're into this like nostalgia food fighter-esque type of figures because I know you're going to have to go third party or something to get a hold of them because Moose Toys doesn't make Grocery Gang anymore and it's it's sad. It was a sad moment when I did my, oh, well, I thought it was going to be my final video and then David sent this over to me. So. so that sums up my unboxing and review of Grocery Gang's Your Shopping's Gone Rotten Muck Chuck Garbage Truck. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me please and thank you very much and if you want to know when i post up a new video hit that bell notification so you get that alert and make sure you guys show some love check out david blucher's channel it's down below also check out toyco toys and collectibles there's a website there full of collectibles and a promo code just for you guys to get free shipping on anything you see on that website and also take a gander and check out toyco's pre-order group it's a facebook group you can join in keeps you in the know with collectibles and you can get some amazing prices on these pre-orders that no other company like big bed toy store megalopolis or entertainment earth could even touch so definitely show some love and check that out and if you're looking for that nice tight-knit close family of collectors that look out for one another and just like to talk figures and show off pictures of collections and have a good time at the end of this video you see a video or video you see a picture it's a cartoon image that says plastic cannibals if you search facebook and find plastic cannibals go ahead and click join answer the three questions come on in and let's talk figures and show off collections let's just have a good time but most importantly i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day